Here's the skeletal system of the nectaris. Here we have the chondrocranium, which makes up the skull, and the splanchnocranium, which is the gill support. If we flip it over, we see the dermatocranium, which is that roof of the mouth, the palate. Coming down to the vertebrae, we start out with one fused cervical vertebrae, which is different from humans who have seven cervical vertebrae. And then the nectaris has 17 thoracolumbar vertebrae, coming all the way down to the pelvic girdle. At the pelvic girdle is the sacral vertebrae, which is only one of, and then the caudal vertebrae continue all the way down to the caudal fin. Coming up to the forelimbs, we have the humerus, just like in humans, the ulnus on the inside, and the radius to the outside, with carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges, making up the nectaris's hand. In the hind limbs, we have the femur, and then to the inside is the tibia, to the outside is the fibula, and then tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges.